Cayuse Creek, a tributary to Kelly Creek off the North Fork of the Clearwater. I'm uh, about to hopefully float. The water's kind of skinny, so I'm sure I'm going to be doing a lot of butt dragging and dragging the raft, portaging maybe. But um, there's an elk collar up here that is in a pretty remote location. This is the only real practical way to get to it. There's no trails or anything. Yeah, we're way back in the back country. Um, probably a 10 or 12 mile float. We'll, uh, we'll get the raft blown up and get on the way. I just pulled over because there's I heard a little bit of a roar up here. I just wanted to check it out before I came around this corner. I don't think there's gonna be anything too bad on this other than rocks. But um, I just wanted to make sure I'm I don't have a lot of experience pack rafting, so I don't wanna get in trouble out here. No way to get here but a helicopter. But anyway, if I can stay off the rocks, it'll be fine. The rock garden awaits. So the fishing game is conducting elk habitat research and they have a number of elk collared uh, with GPS collars throughout the state and these collars record locations of uh, wherever the elk happens to be and when the collar reaches the end of its life uh, they're set to drop off and there's no telling where that elk is going to be when that time happens and so on occasion we have to go into very remote locations to retrieve these collars and get the data that we need. So my drainage that I have to go up is just right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I gotta break this raft down because all my stuff is inside the tubes. But um, go ahead and stash the raft here and get my boots on. Start heading up. Put together to the telemetry unit. So we've got about a thousand feet and about three quarters of a mile up this draw before we get to that collar and there's no there's no good way to get there so it's gonna be bust and brush for quite a ways. So just gonna start into it, see how it works out. Hmm. 
These things are freaking awesome. So this is a directional antenna, so when you swing the front of it towards the signal, the signal gets stronger. And as you get really close to the, the collar or whatever's emitting the signal, that sound will actually start to distort. But what I do is dial off the signal, or dial off the frequency. This, so this is 151.110. I'll go to you know, 151 and just keep dialing up and that'll change dial it up until you can barely hear it and then that uh, basically takes that that swath of ground that it's detecting um, you know it detects out kind of a pie shape from where you're at and it narrows that thing down so you can get you can really hone in on that signal but this collar is down below us um, according to the, the last GPS location that it uploaded and uh, this signal, I'm guessing it's down there about 100 yards or so and it's pretty steep, but um, I'll head down there and then just kind of side hill back to the trail there. So it's right, it's right here somewhere, but I'm dialed way off that signal and if you listen closely, you can hear, you can hear that distortion, that plap, plap, plap. Uh, sometimes this one's been out here for a while, so it could be buried. Who knows? But it's somewhere right here close. Let's dial off that signal a little more. Look at there, there it is. Got it. So that's uh, that's kind of unusual. The entire collar is missing. It's just the uh, the GPS box. But that's all we need. That's where the data is. back back to the ribble see how long it takes us to get out of here I'm just about to Kelly Creek. 
been dragging my butt over rocks for the last four or five miles. I'm stuck on a rock now, I decided to take a break. So we're finally made it to the, that's about five o'clock. I think I'd launched it about 8.30 this morning. Finally made it to the Kelly Creek. Eh, water should get a little bigger from here out, but it's still gonna be pretty skinny. Get a little farther down and we shouldn't have much trouble. It's been fun.